Live from Studio 7E in Rockefeller Center, this is Weekend Today in New York. Welcome back on this Saturday morning. Perhaps your New Year's resolution included trying to help others. Well, here's a chance to do that. Linda Bacchetto explains in this week's Visiones. This is a public affairs presentation from For New York, Visiones. For the first time, the oldest and largest youth mentoring organization in the U.S. is being run by a Hispanic. And Hector Batista is here with me, hoping that you'll join his efforts during this, which is National Mentoring Month. And it's good to see you again, Hector. I've interviewed you before when you were head of another agency. You've been here now three months or so. How's it going so far? It's going great. I mean, it's a wonderful organization with a wonderful mission to really help young people. Uh, have positive role models in their life, and I'm really enjoying it. And tell us about the makeup of the littles, as you call them, and, and really why you as a Hispanic are really getting particularly involved in, in, in trying to get more bigs who are Hispanic. Yeah, we have about 95% of our, our kids are from minorities, and uh, roughly about 55% uh, of them are African Americans, and about 40% are Latinos. And uh, the tragedy is that only 9% of our bigs are Latino descent. Hmm. Why do you so, think that is? You know, I think that part of it has to do with the fact that most people think that in order for you to be a, a mentor, you have to be a lawyer or a doctor. I mean, uh, you know, really looking for positive role models, you know. Uh, we have uh, mentors that are in the construction industry, uh, they're firefighters, you know, all different types of of uh, jobs and basically what we're looking for is for people that could really help these young people get through life's challenges. And what kind of time commitment is involved because I'm sure obviously that's a concern that some people have. Yeah you know we, we ask for people to you know you have to commit for one year um, and you have to um, give a young person about eight hours uh, a month um, spend time with them you know take them to the theater or you know, to uh, the museum or, you know, to, you know, work with them and some of the challenges that they're dealing with in school and on those lines. And we find that by having that kind of activities, that young people are doing a lot better, their attendance are better, they get better, along better with their peers, they're less likely to get into trouble. And so you provide, a, obviously, training for the bigs as well, so they're not going in blind in the situation. Where's, what's the website where people can get more information if they want to get involved with Big Brothers, yeah, Big Sisters? www.bigsnyc.org www.bigsnyc.org. All right, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Hector Batista, thank you so much. Well, thank you for having me.